Hello, I'm Megan Wartman, Executive Director of the American Lamb Board. Sheep are one of the world's oldest domesticated animals, raised for fleece, meat, and milk. Not surprisingly, lamb is prevalent in the diets and dining rooms of most every region and culture of the globe. Lamb is often the centerpiece of celebrations, from Greek Easter to Jewish Passover to Muslim Ramadan. And lamb's use is diverse, from traditional barbacoa in central Mexico, to lamb kofta in the Middle East, to hearty lamb stews in Ireland. The story of lamb is part of our country's history as well. It's believed that the first sheep arrived in America with Christopher Columbus's second voyage in 1493. More sheep arrived with the colonists, and by the 1640s, there were about 100,000 sheep in the 13 colonies. In the 1800s, sheep production in the United States moved westward. And by the 1940s and 50s, America's sheep flocks peaked at around 50 million head. Today, there are about 6 million sheep in the United States. Now, more than ever, there is an interest in the way our food is raised and the number of miles it must travel to get to our tables. The American sheep industry is committed to quality and conservation and epitomizes the local food movement. Today, I'd like to share with you the story of American lamb, from shepherd to chef. Sheep are raised in every state in the country, and the people who raise sheep are as varied as the regions they call home. There is one common thread that ties all sheep producers together. They are food artisans whose work demonstrates their respect for the environment and lucky for us, delivers the lamb for our plates. The vast majority of sheep operations are family owned and operated. In the eastern and midwestern United States, you'll find a greater number of small flock operations, while most large commercial operations are found in the west. These operations are diverse because sheep are adaptable to a wide range of climates and management systems. Prior to World War II and the development of synthetic fabrics, many producers raised sheep primarily for wool delaying slaughter of their sheep so that they could be sheared more often. This resulted in less tender meat with a stronger flavor. Today's sheep producers are most focused on raising lamb. Wool is still a focus for some, but lamb meat is now the most important product the American lamb producer sells. In addition, they're now bringing their lambs to market at a more appropriate age so that the lamb is tender and mild not tough and strong flavored like your grandparents experienced. Sheep producers care for their sheep by making sure they have natural grazing compatible with the environment, a clean water source, and protection from predators. American sheep are reared on high quality natural forage diets with minimal environmental impact and an eye towards stewardship and conservation. Their pastures can include an array of grasses as well as other forages such as legumes, weeds, and woody, brushy plants. Depending on the quality of range, some lambs are marketed directly from the range or pasture, while others are grain finished for a short period of time. Specialty formulated grain is often used to supplement the natural forage diet of sheep and adds to the marbling and mild flavor of the meat. It also allows for year-round availability. Keep in mind, however, that whatever your preferences are for American lamb, you will be able to find it in the marketplace. From natural or organic lamb to exclusively grass-fed or grain-finished. It's important to know that no artificial growth hormones are used in lamb production in the United States. As a result of the superior breeding and nutritional programs which I've discussed, sheep in the United States tend to be bigger and meatier that's why the ribeye on an American lamb rack tends to be larger than those on imported racks. Lamb, by definition, is meat from sheep that are less than one year of age. Meat from an older sheep is considered mutton. American lamb is now more rich and tender than ever before. Best of all, lamb is naturally lean and nutrient rich. An average three ounce serving of lamb has only 175 calories. About 40% of all lamb produced in this country is sold for use in the food service industry. In fact, 
Lamb is one of the most popular proteins on fine dining menus. About three out of four fine dining operators offer lamb on their menus. Lamb is most commonly featured as an entree, although lamb is also used in appetizers and small plates, salads and sandwiches, as well as soups and stews. Rack of lamb is the most popular lamb cut menu, followed by miscellaneous lamb chops, shanks, and loin. However, a growing number of chefs are using lamb shoulder, sirloin, ground lamb, and lamb offals on their menus. Lamb appears with lower incidence on quick service, mid-scale, and casual dining menus. Only about 14% of these menus include lamb, again, most often as a center of the plate entree. Much of this usage is linked to ethnic cuisine, such as Indian, African, Greek, and Middle Eastern. Examples of lamb use include tagines, gyros, lamb kebabs and sautés, and lamb samosas. As people become more interested in authentic foods from across the globe, the use of lamb in these and other dishes will undoubtedly grow. As chef instructor Chris Ketke will now show you, lamb has diverse menu applications. Like most chefs, lamb is one of my favorite meats. American lamb has a mild yet distinctive flavor, and I like to experiment with using cuts from the whole carcass. The lamb carcass is generally broken down into four major primal cuts, the shoulder, the rack, the loin, and the leg. In addition, there's the neck, the foreshank, and the breast or brisket section. Probably the most diverse cut from the lamb is the lamb leg. The leg comes from the rear leg of the animal and weighs between five and nine pounds. A whole leg of lamb includes the bottom round, sirloin, top round, as well as the shank. A whole leg can be roasted whole, but is often broken down into various semi-boneless or boneless roasts. Here is a semi-boneless leg. A portion of the leg bone has been removed to create a steamship. Again, this can be perfect for roasting and carving. Lamb legs are commonly sold boneless as BRT, bone rolled and tied, or BRN, bone rolled and netted. A boneless leg can be opened up, further trimmed, and grilled as a butterfly roast. Or you can add almost any type of flavor into the roast. Think Asian, Mediterranean, or Indian for a signature presentation. Here, I've created a south of the border inspired rub with garlic, cumin, oregano, and chipotle. You can simply rub this on the inside of the leg, roll it up, and tie. The possibilities are endless. The boneless leg can also be broken down further into various smaller roasts, such as the bottom round, sirloin, and top round. The top round is a high quality cut with many preparation options. The roast can simply be rubbed with olive oil, seasoned, and roasted. I like to insert the top round with pieces of cured sausage and frozen red bell pepper. Really, you can put just about anything inside of here and give it lots of different flavors. Once this is stuffed, all you need to do then is season the outside and then roast it in the oven. Sirloins are a fabulous cut for the grill. You can slice them into cutlets or steaks. You can also add a variety of rubs and marinades. However you choose to season it, it's beautiful, lean, flavorful, and an affordable cut. Meat from the bottom round is perfect for scallopini. The first step is to trim out the meat into the individual muscles as I've done right here. At that point, very simply, take the meat and slice it into thin slices Next, pound it out between plastic wrap until very thin. Then it's ready to saute after a quick dredging in flour or could be further coated with egg and breadcrumb. Keep in mind that these leg cuts can also be further fabricated for steaks, cutlets, kebab, or stew meat. Leg meat can also be used to make grind. In fact, when we trimmed up the bottom round, here's the trim that we had left over. It's all about total utilization of the product. Lamb burgers and sliders are becoming popular on today's menus. Here, I've created a Thai lamb burger by mixing in red Thai curry. Again, you could create a signature lamb burger by topping it with a bit of Asian slaw with ginger and lime juice, cilantro, and a chili or two. A coating of ginger lime mayo completes this dish. 
An American leg of lamb is probably the most versatile of lamb cuts. It gives you the opportunity to be creative. From roasting whole with a signature glaze, to using various muscles to create chops, cutlets, sandwiches, kebabs, scallopini, or stew. On behalf of the nation's sheep producers, we want to thank you for your use of American lamb and for your support of local ranchers. We are committed to providing you with a fresh, local, and quality product. American lamb, up to 10,000 miles fresher. For more information about American lamb, from shepherd to chef, please visit www.americanlamb.com.